All right, so the first thing you need, it's a 12 millimeter. It's for these two bolts right here. So we're gonna take off these two bolt, bolts. Um, you're supposed to take off the intercooler, but I'm gonna try to do it without that. Once you take off these two bolts here, you're gonna have to take off this hose clamp right here, which is gonna be a little hard to get to, but we'll cross that bridge when we get there. All right, let's take this out. Oh, that was easy. Make sure you don't strip this crap out because if you do, get ready to dish out some money. <laughs> yeah, I do. Probably won't even be able to drive the car until that, that thing is replaced. Exactly. What's going to be hard is that clamp. That hose back there, you see it? Yeah, yeah dude. See the clamp is like in there? Mm -hmm. and, and make sure you replace the gasket. I had to go to Subaru and get a new one because uh, mine didn't bring a freaking gasket. I don't know why. Which it, when it's supposed to, it clearly says it on the website. <laughs> that it brings one, yeah, right? Yeah, it's supposed to bring one. They probably forgot In the videos I've seen, people got them. Yeah, they probably forgot to package it. Yeah. Watch it, watch it show up at your door later on. I know, right? <laughs> so, By then it's too late. There we go. Go, unhook this. You want Shit the pliers? Bitch. Slide it, like pull it at the same time? There we, there we go. go. Fuck. So, we need the pliers. Right, so it's this clamp back here, right there. Oh, it's actually not that, not, that, not that bad to get to. I'll hold it, you take, uh, I don't think we'll be able. All right guys, so we're, we're gonna take it off real quick and then I'll get right back to it. Yeah. So there it is guys, it's off. Now you know, you let the over with this. You just gotta try it for that clamp, but this is good rolling down. Is it? Yeah, but we'll get it, we'll get it before we put it And we gotta take off this gasket right here and put a new one. Um, this this elbow right here you need this you need to attach it to the new one okay so these bolts right here make sure you put a lot of downforce on them oh because they these are the ones that strip yep they could strip and if they do then you're screwed gotcha so let's show you guys the go fast bits shout out to them but they didn't set a gasket <laughs> so this is the difference Damn. so this elbow right here it's gonna go here let me see the top of that Oof. oh and this is the preload the the spring preload and uh here you adjust it uh 50 100 or anywhere in between Oof. Oof. so let's Oof. get this on here you're gonna have to give him a couple shots of you know what it sounds like at 100 percent, 50 percent what the hell did i put my uh screw yo i don't know about you guys but for some reason and i'm pretty sure this has happened to you guys like you're so amped to install a part that you don't care if it's 20 degrees outside you don't care if it's dark raining you just want to install that part and get it over with because you, you it's just how it is just how we are you want to you want to do it no matter what you don't care if there's a hurricane going on you just want to put that in a lot of people are going to be like oh this is bad for your subaru fucking you're going to blow your engine part out and all this shit well i'm here to try it and i will let you know if my car blows up <laughs> right i'll definitely make a video <laughs> there you go now you guys know if it's true or not but like you know people always say shit and like it's mostly people that probably don't even have a fucking subaru saying that shit they go it's gonna blow up this and that i'm like dude if you don't have a subaru don't talk i'm not talking i don't have a subaru but yo i love this car i got that Civic hatchback over there. I'm gonna take a shit fucking. I'm gonna shit myself trying to take these things out. So they didn't strip out. Nice. Just make That's... sure you put a lot of downforce and you'll be fine. You already took both of them? Yep. Nice, dude. By the way, I didn't introduce this dude. Uh, go ahead, you could tell him about your channel. <laughs> Alright, guys, so. Um, name is Leo Mendoza. I do a lot of vlogs. Go check it out. You'll probably like link it on the description or something. Um, I'll, I'm gonna do a lot of parts to my car for those Civic fans out there and that's that's what I'm planning on for this summer So stay tuned. Hopefully I got some you know good stuff for you guys But in the meantime I'm over here helping my boy Jensen right, so Yo, did they sell any different colors? Nah, only just came, black. Yeah, it's just black bro. Yeah, that's it. That's all I've seen on the I know if there was a red one you would have gotten a red. Oh, yeah, definitely. That looks ricier. Since I'm a ricer. 100% I'm a ricer. Man, you're freaking um, intake manifold is red too. I think Super would did great with that shit. Man. I know. I like, like the. It's like yeah. a cool red. Yep. Freaking, that's how it's for um, the B series engines on the on the SI, old school SIs for the yeah. Civics. It's like wrinkled red, the top. 
Oh, look at that. Yeah. All right, cool. Oh, we gotta change the gasket, don't forget. Yeah, definitely. Let me see if I can take this off. Yeah. Boy, and if anything, guys, don't scrape that thing off with a screwdriver. You could screw up the flange. Just, just scrape it off with your nail. You're, way, you're better off. Doesn't matter if this um, thing bends. Huh? Doesn't matter if this thing bends. The What thing? This. Because we're not using it no more. No, right? we're not using it no more. Yeah, yeah, you could just try to get it off. Pull it off. Oh, yeah, there we there go. We go. Looks pretty good. I think I could have reused oh, it. There we go. Yeah, but the thing is, the the reason why they probably don't reuse it, because look, when you take it off, it's it bends. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably why every time you change one of these, you want to get a new one. Because like really thin metal, so it's just going to bend. All right. But look at this thing, guys. So what's... <laughs> That's the trumpet. That makes the noise. Jesus Christ. Looks like a fucking train horn. <laughs> Holy crap. So this is... So we just had to have this side clean over here. Yeah, so this is what... This is oh, the... Oh, a new one. Gasket. Um, this is the part number if you guys need it. Oh. This is the new gasket we want to put on. Hey, you still got some, like, nasty shit stuck to it. Let's put this on first. What? Oh, the thing? Yeah, it's not. It's not that hot anymore. Yeah, so it's, it's right there in the bottom. This thing? Yeah. Yeah, we need this. It's gonna be a pain in the ass. To put it back up, right? Yeah. Bro, look at that. There's no space between the little ring of the elbow there, between the the head to get um the rubber hose and the clamp is right in the middle of that elbow. Remember that little space? You probably you I'll put I'll post it up and you'll see it. Put it side by side. So yeah, dude, that's perfect. It's equal on both sides. I like how it brings its own bolts. Yeah. You probably they probably had these at, laying around the house. Yes. So how tight do these have to be? I think hand tight. Oh, like you know when you like your wrist, yeah. yeah. Because when I took them off, they weren't that tight. Yeah, because like it took a little force, but yeah, not crazy. Yeah, they always say like There's not no to force. not to use your elbow. Yeah. For, for more strength. Yeah. It's basically like the human way of torquing shit down. Yeah. It's going not, it's going in nice and smooth, bro. Yeah, man. You don't want to fuck up these bolts, dude. So how do you know? Oh, wait, wait, wait. We got to... First, we have to tighten the preload spring. The point is, you got to tighten this preload spring because you want this piston thing. Yeah. Right here, You you. this is how you know... How much boost is coming out? Uh, how much? Yeah, how much air it's going to uh, atmosphere, and how much is recirculating? But how do you know if it's right here? If you come to this side, you'll see it. Let me see. So, see how you can see the yellow, the gold piston. Oh, okay. This turn, you see, see how it's closing. Oh, so that should be like fifty percent. Fifty percent. Yeah. That'll be like twenty-five percent right there. And all the way will be full recirculating. Right there will be full. Oh, okay. Dude, yeah, it's easy to control. You can... Yeah, I can control at any time. So what if you close it all the way? That's full recirculation. That's how my stock one was. Oh, That's how it's really supposed okay. to be. That's what it's set up for. We should... Yeah. Damn, so let's let's keep it at tw like 25%. No, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm going to keep it, obviously, like probably like a 50, the max. Right there, yeah. And, you know, to show off, I'll put, I'll put it 100% yep. or whatever. So you want to leave it at ha half right now? Well, let's leave it completely open because we got to fix the... Preload spring. Oh, okay, gotcha. The preload spring is this piston, well, this right here. So it doesn't change it. on its own? You tighten it because this spring, you, I mean, this piston, you don't want it to open for too long, meaning you want that piston to close before your car hits idle. Gotcha. Because if it doesn't, it's gonna stumble, it's gonna um, stall at a red light. Okay. Because the air is already measured. Yeah. It's not like your car, you know? Yeah. Our shit's already measured, so right now it's gonna you're gonna run rich between uh, shit or whatever. So grab this one. Then we just turn it until yeah, it gets we gotta tight. Turn it on and test it. Oh shit! True, true. We gotta see it go up and down first. So everything's tight, right? Uh, yeah. Everything's nice and tight. Yep. We're good. See, so get everything. Yeah, I can out see that. All right, cool. Let's turn it on. Every every all loose side. I'm gonna rev it, and you're gonna see this piston go up and down, like open and close. Yeah. 
hear it. You want that piston too close before my car hits the item like it is right now. Yeah. Okay? What do you mean close? Like, it's going to open, like, like the piston is going to go up and down. You want to see it open and yeah, go up and down. So you want it to close completely before it hits this item. Gotcha. Like this town right here. Gotcha. If it doesn't, then we got to tighten Ready. Yeah, close this perp. Yeah, come yeah, come see it. There it is. Perfect. Yep. You didn't get the comfort on. Yeah. So that's pretty much it guys. Alright guys, so I guess the camera wasn't recording earlier. So this is, we already finished it. This is the blow valve right here. That piston is what goes up and it's, it releases air. Right now it's at 100% because you see all the gold. Right here is 50. About that, it's like 25. And this, this is what the stock will come at. It'll be all closed. So he's going to do 100. It's going to be really loud. And he's gonna try that. Supposedly, if you keep it at 100, it releases too much air and it makes the engine stall out. So we're gonna try and see if it's true. If he stalls out, then he's gonna, you know, turn it down a little bit. This thing right here in the middle, if you turn it to the right clockwise, it's gonna tighten it up. If you go counterclockwise, it's gonna loosen it up. What we wanna do is that piston has to go down before it idles. It has to close before it idles. Just, you know, to prevent, you know, any stalling out because it's, the engine's not getting enough air. Perfect. Perfect. That works. Yo, thanks again, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah dude, no problem. It was. It wasn't this bad. Was we didn't take jealous. long, too. We only took like an hour or something. This was gonna be just. <laughs> she already yeah, fucking... Yeah. Text me. I, did you do it? What the fuck, man? <laughs> Be like, oh shit, damn. Yeah. I've been over 4,000. <laughs> oh oh damn, my lovely. god. 4,000, okay. Three, no, three, three, and a three, half. three and a half. Yeah, dude. Because it's, it's so fucking tight. If I loosen that shit, oh, tsh, tsh, every time. Did it slip? No, 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 no it was okay. perfect. Oh, okay, okay. You know what I mean? It takes a lot of air for that spring to uh, go up. There's somebody here. Oh my god! Yo, I love it. Five passengers. Oh, yeah. oh my god, dude. I fucking love it. Yo, listen guys, this shit, get a fucking Suvi, bro. So, oh, oh, that shit was loud. Get a fucking Suvi, guys. You fucking love it. Hey. Oh. 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 You heard that shit? <laughs> oh my god, Jensen. I'm gonna have to get a fucking Suvi. <laughs> the iPhone has way better quality than the GoPro. Exactly. Um, you did 52 in Mexico. Man. Mexico. All right, guys. So that was um, the Bo Fast Bits uh, blow off valve. Um, like I said, a lot of people are gonna give me a lot of hate for it, but it sounds amazing, man. And I'll get back to you guys if I get any check engine lights stall. 
my shit blows up. I'll part out. Anybody want to buy parts, you can go on the <laughs> list right now, son. <laughs> but yeah, thanks to my boy Faustino. Hit him up on fucking YouTube, Instagram, and shit like that. Give him your, your shit. Edit that out, too. All right, guys. So, yeah. So, um, I just helped him out. Um, I know he has a lot of fans, a lot of Subi fans. I have a Civic. I know the rivalry. Be, I don't know how. How the fuck you say it? Between Subarus and Hondas, but I do have a Honda, and I will be doing stuff to my Honda. So if you guys want to watch that, that will be coming up soon. Probably you know by the summer or something. Once it gets hot, because it's gonna get cold up here in Mexico, North no, North Mexico. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> so all right, guys, take care. Peace out. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Right. Peace.